Digital EKG. The human brain is able to isolate a single acoustic signal intermixed with many others, allowing for communication even under the noisiest of circumstances. Ruben Martin, a College of Engineering professor at the University of Seville, wrote his doctoral thesis on the separation of acoustic signals using mathematical algorithms. His work aims to emulate what the human brain does in order to isolate a single conversation in noisy environments. This is what is known as artificial intelligence. It wasn't long before this young engineer became interested in biomedical signals where the problem is quite similar. These signals identify the precise sound needed in each moment and isolate them from all other interference. One of the most difficult biomedical signals to capture is the electrocardiogram of a fetus during pregnancy. This signal is quite useful as it can reliably communicate any and all signs of fetal distress, as well as providing early diagnosis for many types of heart malformations. Even so, until now it could only be measured by means of a very invasive and extremely risky technique. The proper function of a baby's heart is normally controlled via fetal monitors used in the final stages of pregnancy. The monitor technology, known as Doppler echocardiography, or ultrasound, can keep track of heart rates, but cannot provide much more information beyond that. The ideal complementary diagnostic test would be a fetal electrocardiogram, or EKG. But until now, this has not been possible until the moment of birth, using an uncomfortable technique which carries significant risks. When the test is attempted through the skin of the mother's belly, the result is basically the mother's heartbeat intermixed with the extremely faint beat of the child's heart. There is no obvious way to separate these two sounds. The research team led by Dr. Ruben Martin has been working for several years now to apply artificial intelligence techniques similar to those used in their previous studies of acoustic signals. The result is that, for the first time ever, they have managed to separate the EKG signals of a mother and her fetus. This incredible discovery opens the doors to the possibility of fetal EKGs using a technique that is simple and entirely harmless. Now we can obtain all of the parameters measured with an adult EKG and all of the diagnostic possibilities that the test entails. In order to separate the two signals, the mother's EKG is taken on her chest as a reference point. Then an EKG is taken on her abdomen, where the signal is slightly different because it includes the signal coming from the fetal EKG. A computer program generated by the team identifies the characteristics of the mother's EKG so that it can then be separated from that of the fetus. Thanks to complicated mathematical algorithms, it is possible to obtain a clean reading of the signal coming from the baby. The advantages of this system include an improvement in the quality of data used to measure fetal status, and an entire field is opened up for the detection of many pathologies. Above all, this vast field will enable the exploration of the fetus's developing heart throughout pregnancy, with the advantage of being entirely non-invasive. The procedure is totally harmless. The research team is designing an easy-to-use portable electrocardiograph, which would make it possible to take a fetal EKG from the comfort of the mother's own home. With this device, the mother would be able to remain in contact with her child's medical team, keeping tabs at all times on any possible fetal distress, a scientific development that could save countless lives. <laughs>